we're gonna pivot. Hey everybody, looks in the swirl here. Looky, looky, the December Wanderlust box finally showed up. I guess they had some shipping problems, like a lot of people are having right now, but it got here. So we're gonna do an unboxing today. We're gonna make a cup today. So please stay tuned through the whole thing. I don't think it will be a disappointment. How's that for a ringing endorsement of my, of my video? <laughs> I don't think you'll be disappointed. <laughs> okay, Wanderlust box, here we go. Now, I did hear from the wonderful folks at Mr. Nolo's Glitter that they had a little trouble with the postcard. They were kind enough to send me the postcard file. You can sort of guess where we're going and what the theme is based on the picture that's going to be on the postcard. And they also sent the list of goodies we're gonna get in the box. So let's go through them. Here's our clear cast for this month. It's not just New Year's Eve, it's New York in general, including the whole state. Obviously the New York City skyline, Times Square, Broadway, Central Park, but also Niagara Falls, uh, Bronx Zoo, Rockefeller Center, the Yankees, uh, Carnegie Hall, Staten Island, the Big Apple, the Finger Lakes. So a lot of New York stuff on here. We will make use of some of this at least. The Times Square Ball Mold. Well, that's right on top, so let's look at that. Oh, this looks like a nice little stand that lights up. Okay. I can do this, I have a college degree. <laughs> God. Okay, there we go. A 3D sphere mold with an included LED lighted base. Fill this with glitter and epoxy to make your own New Year's Eve ball. I think that's a wonderful idea. That will be a separate video, probably on another channel. Big Apple Wood Shaker. I think that's this. A custom piece from our friends at Wicked Gold LLC. This New York City Skyline Dry Shaker is fun to put together and fill with whatever glitter your heart desires. Simply decorate each layer, assemble with the included super glue. That looks pretty cool. There is some stuff in here that it's not on the list. Put this aside for now. Okay, there's a silicone mat. XOXO, wish you were here. Oh, that's wonderful. Bright and bold, just like city lights. These little jars of accent glitter are perfect for filling your big apple wood shaker. I don't think the mic is on the list, but it's called Lanai Hawaii Purple Sunrise. I may already have this because I got the Hawaii box. And we have two more of these wonderful alcohol ink uh, pens. So you put the alcohol ink in here, you shake it up. Metallic probably works the best. Shake it up real good and then you can draw with it. Here's what we have. We will start with Midnight Kiss. Two ounces of an iridescent snowy dream. This chunky fine mix has pink and blue shifts and comes packaged in our Wanderlust jar. That is sure sparkly. Look at that. Everybody ready for their Midnight Kiss New Year's Eve? I I'm not getting one this year. <laughs> <laughs> My cats aren't big kissers, but it's okay. Uh, next up we have Countdown Confetti. Look at that. Oh my God. This is two ounces of a party in a wanderlust jar. This holographic rainbow mix includes tinsel, five pointed stars, and four pointed stars to make it all the perfect mix to include in all of your celebration projects. Look, oh, isn't that beautiful? Wowzers. Toast of Bubbly. This is two ounces of a soft champagne gold chunky fine mix that captures the classic gold of a favorite New Year's drink. Bring on the bubbly. I still have that uh, cocktails video to make and I do believe I got some champagne, so it, it won't be New Year's Eve. We will toast my announcement at some point in the future. Oh, that, is, that is beautiful. My sister had a dress that looked like that. I could never bring myself to wear something like that, but she rocked it. And lastly, we have Under the Stars. This is two ounces of holographic silver chunky fine mix with four point stars that will remind you of the dazzling New Year's display in the New York City skyline. Oh, very hollow. Look at that. Wow. Super hollow. So, you know, I love it. So to recap, we have our four glitters, and then we have more glitters. We have some purple mica. We have um, a couple alcohol ink pens. We have our big apple wood shaker, New Year's Eve ball drop mold, the stand that lights up to display it on. And we have our cast and craft LLC. And then we also have this Lanai Hawaii purple sunrise mica, 
maybe goes with this from an old box. That would be my guess. And then of course, the beautiful, I cannot wait to use this, Wanderlust Wish You Were Here XOXO Silicone Mat. So we're gonna get right into a cup. I'm gonna have to move things around a little and bring out a turner. Stay tuned. And we're back. I have everything set up. I'm using my new silicone mat. It is beautiful. I made this cup in a different video that you haven't seen yet, and I'm not going to continue with turning this cup into something in that video. I'm gonna use it in this video. We're gonna pivot. I'm gonna mix up about 30 milliliters of resin, and I'm going to mix into it the toast of bubbly, which is, I think, perfect for this as the background. I'm gonna slather that on, and once I get it on there, I will also add sprinkles of this. I could just combine the two, but I think I want this to be more of an accent, maybe top rim, bottom rim, maybe a little in between, but this will be the body of the cup. I think that's what I'm gonna do. If you see me do something differently, you'll know I changed my mind. <laughs> But for right now, that's the plan. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna gear up and all that. Just sit back and enjoy the show. And we're back. Okay, it's dried, it's ready to do something with. It turned out very pretty. I'm very happy with how it looks. I realized when I edited the previous footage that I didn't tell you what the sprinkle on glitter was. This is the Countdown Confetti. I think it looks very, very pretty. I like the fact that it's a, not a uniform background. And I think adding the Countdown Confetti to various parts of the cup that added something extra too. This is not completely smooth. I am going to put on vinyl from our clear cast here, and I'm also gonna put on water slides, and in both cases, I really want this to be smooth, but it also needs to be shiny. I don't want to put on the water slides and then have any uh, sanding scratches show underneath. So what I'm gonna do is a very light sanding to smooth everything out, and then uh, once that's done, I will wipe it down and spray it with clear gloss spray, and that will give me the shiny surface back that will look good under a water slide. So I've sanded this. I have sprayed it with a couple layers of Rust-Oleum 2X gloss clear so it looks nice and shiny again and I'm going to put our clear cast on okay basically I'm going to put the skyline around the bottom this is a 20 ounce skinny straight so I shouldn't have too much trouble hopefully getting this on here <laughs> there isn't a taper to deal with so that's a good start all right well, let's see what happens <laughs> Well, that's pretty darn close. All right, I'm going to cut off some overlap here. Ta-da! That looks pretty darn good. All right, now comes the water slide. Here is my water slide. I'm gonna cut these out. Actually, I'm going to cut the whole thing out together, not individually. Okay. 
Here we go. Well, you can see everything. This is my Hippo water slide paper, H-I-I-P-O-O. -O. I have sprayed it with two layers of Rust-Oleum clear gloss spray, followed by a layer of Plasti Dip Glossifier. I do have a video, a recent video in which I show me actually spraying those three layers on so you can see exactly what I do. I will link to that below if you're curious and haven't seen it yet and you want to see exactly what I do. <laughs> I am going to basically do a full wrap, except it's not full top to bottom, just around the middle. Okay. I'm gonna get my cup wet. slide on. Hopefully without too much fiddling. If you want to see me fiddle with one, <laughs> I can link to one of those below too. Uh -oh. Let me get this wet so it doesn't drag, but it does squeegee out all the extra water and any air bubbles that might be underneath. Flattens everything to the cup. Makes it look beautiful. Pat some of the excess water off so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. That looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna let this dry for a little while, half an hour to an hour, and uh, I'll bring you back for the next step. And we're back. Okay, I'll be completely honest with you. I wasn't gonna mention this part, wasn't gonna record it, but yeah, full transparency. The reason I printed these out in black was not just so they would show up on the background, it was so I would have a reference point because I was gonna take my big box of stickles and grab a bunch of really bright colors, and I was actually going to color the lines with, I was gonna stickle-fy the cup. So every where there's a starburst here was going to be stickles. And I still think that's a really cool idea and I still plan on doing that in a future video or several, depending on how it goes. But when I came back in here after it, the water slides had dried and I took a look at the cup, I thought, oh, that is just too pretty the way it is. The black skyline, the black, it's, it's like a reverse almost image with the fireworks going on behind. It's hard to explain. <laughs> Hopefully you guys will see it when I do the big reveal in the sunshine at the end. But to get to that point, we have to put resin on this again. I sprayed it with matte clear spray to seal on everything. I'm gonna mix up 20 milliliters of epoxy resin. I'm gonna use Mr. Nola's Glitter's glass coat because this is an MNG cup. And I am going to add a little, just a little bit of the glitter, the Marabou alcohol ink in glitter that shifts gold to bronze to green. And I will gear up now and, you know, sit back and enjoy the show. 